to that, if CA does not always increase the feedstock, it's still good to promote the system, but for other reasons. Next uh, one, please. When we were done with thinking as well, then we at least have to do uh, the research in our own plot. And also, carbon is not uh, the whole story. So what we did was in our long-term trial in central Mexico, we measured the amount of residue that was uh, was applied in each of the contrasting systems. One is conventional pillage, what farmers are doing, uh, maize weed uh, taking away all the residue um, and moving the soil, and then the CA system where obviously all residue was left, and you can see the amount of residue that was left in the field over the years. And what we did was a full uh, global warming integration. Next one. So the first step we did was measure the C content in the soil layer from 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60 centimeters. And I think you can clearly see that there's a bigger C stock or higher C stock in the CA system than in the conventional farming system. Next one, please. And what we then did was we added on all values and we put them all obviously all to carbon value, to carbon equivalence. We measured the uh, uh, trace gases coming out of the soil. We measured the use of trace uh, the use uh, of trace gases or emissions of trace gases in farmer operations or in farm operations. I'm sorry, uh, and we combined all of, uh, all of that using agronomic inputs, the soil seed sequestration, and we came to the net global warming potential. And as you can see. 2008-2009, so full full year measuring, whole cycle round. Um, the CA system was the net absorber, uh, if you look at net global warming potential, while the conventional tillage system was a net emitter. And that was, uh, and the numbers were very similar in 2010 and 2011. So this is a complete global uh, warming potential integrating all the different aspects. Next one, please. If you go to the irrigated system, we haven't done our uh, homework completely there yet, but the first conclusions are that actually nitrogen management is very key in that area, uh, and that actually the nitrogen management is having a lot of effect on your mitigation. If you don't use nitrogen right uh, uh, within the CA system, you're going to get into trouble, and sometimes nitrogen management in CA systems is quite a different ballgame uh, most of the time than in conventional ones. Uh, so we are developing sensors, as you can see those people here holding them, uh, in order to optimize this uh, nitrogen, especially because in that area people, uh, farmers are applying too much nitrogen or high quantities. Next one, please. The conclusion of where we are with the research is that the net global warming potential of CA in the particular agroecological system or environment was negative, while the one for conventional tillage was positive. For this agroecological environment, CA as such has the potential to reduce global warming while conventional tillage contributes to it. But for CA systems, especially in management systems where nitrogen uh, is over applied or there's a lot of nitrogen applied, the end management is key to, uh, to, to be able to move the system towards uh, global warming uh, mitigation or climate change mitigation. And please, CA uh, systems require a, such a complete uh, change in mindset, and uh, it complete, uh, therefore it com requires a complex innovation network that fosters other crops, that promotes and takes into account socioeconomic uh, elements and biological limitations, because it all depends on how the system is going to work in which area you are, in order to catalyze innovation. If we go to the next one, that's exactly what we're trying to do with a new cold project, which is Masagro, called a new project that's called Masagro, where we are working uh, currently in five agroecological settings in Mexico. We are soon going to move to eight different agroecological um, systems, uh, all maize and wheat based, uh, to end up in 2014 with 12 different uh, systems where we're all going to set up long-term trials, on-farm tr trials, connected and interlinked to do some good learning. And we are working as well with the FAO climate change program as with the, uh, the, the climate change uh, effort of the CGIR, the CCAP effort to get the needed data. So I hope within four years to be able to give another presentation to you guys with uh, more results. In the meantime, 
you can go to the website uh, which is called uh, conservacion uh, as the Spanish word dot .org. Thank you. Uh,